now. And yet, first an arbitrator overturned the city's action, and now the Court of Appeals have upheld that arbitrator. And Ron Frashauer, after almost six years of paid leave, add that up, and $1.2 million in damages against the city, is scheduled to be reinstated. We demand that the city continue to fight this ruling. Yeah. And if yeah. we're reinstated, we demand that he be assigned to a desk in a warehouse someplace where he will have no contact with the public as the city continues to fight this ruling. Yeah. Yeah. As it's almost declared, as Dr. Bethel said a moment ago, how long? How long, O oh Lord, must we wait? We pray not long. Can you name any other profession in this country where a person will not be fired? Can you name any? As a clergy, I know we will be fired and let go if we do something wrong. Amen. And yet, here we have a police department in this city where nobody has been fired and it's been upheld. What is wrong with the system today, we must ask? How long until this miscarriage of justice will come to an end? When an officer will be discharged who does not belong in this line of work? How long will the Clevelands, Chicago's, Ferguson's, Boston's, Baltimore's, New York's, and so many other places offer up stories of death, death and injustice of black lives taken at the hands of the police? How long must we hear names of victims of, once, of shoot, police shootings like Tamir Rice, Trevon Martin, Sandra Bland, Eric Gardner, Michael Brown? Or in Portland, the list is long. Kendra James, Keith Notice, and we can keep on going, Aaron Campbell. Like leaders in cities across this nation, we challenge this city to reform its police department. We challenge an end to the militarization of police officers. Yeah. We challenge ourselves to work for community policing where people will feel safe, yes. not threatened. Yeah. And we challenge ourselves to call out racism for what it is. Yeah. And to challenge ourselves to renew this city and this society. And where the fear will come to an end, and one day the community may thrive. Yes. Yes. As Prophet Amos said, let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. May justice come. Amen.
Once again, we want to thank you all for coming. This ends our press conference. We'll be glad to take any questions from media, if you have any. Yes. Uh, hey, doctor, what can you do to ensure crash power doesn't get in front of <laughs> Well, if it was in my power and my decision, he wouldn't even be on the force today. Yes. But since it is not, we will demand of the mayor and of the city council, the commissioner and the chief, that he has no right and that he is placed at a desk in a corner with no contact with the public at all. Our safety is at jeopardy for him walking these streets any longer as an officer. Even not as an officer, we don't feel safe. What about Carl Nice? I haven't heard his name. accountability. So, I mean, there's a list of Portland police officers that if the public had their way, they would no longer be Portland police officers. Yeah, he's a sergeant now in East Precinct. Right, I know. You know, I might say too that you know, right now we hear that the shortage of officers and 40 positions will be filled. This is not time just to fill positions. Right. It's a time to be very strategic. And those 40 positions at least begin by the effort of filling them with officers of color. And from various backgrounds, this police force is woefully inadequate in terms of representation of who we are as a community as it will be in years to come. So I call upon the mayor to be strategic and not just to start filling positions, but do it in a very intentional way that will help transform policing in the city. Yes. Do you feel that as citizens, we have a moral duty to push the other city councilors to pass yes. a binding ordinance to go against the mayor's decision and appeal this to the Supreme Court. I hope that we have a majority of the city council who feels as strongly as we do that it is unacceptable to have fresh hour on the Portland Police Bureau uh, at any, in any capacity. And all you need is a majority of the city council uh, to say that we're gonna appeal the Oregon Court of Appeals decision. They could do that, uh, but they've been woefully silent so far. Thank you. Yes.
doorstep trying to get a quote, and she will give you a quote when she has done developing that quote. And we'll make sure the media gets it. Yes. So I wanted to see, you mentioned the uh, Millionaires Club of Portland, and I, I know about it, but a lot of these other people don't know about it, and so I'd like to uh, hear more about the Millionaires Club. Well, that's not, that's not really a term that we use. There's at least one officer who's cost the city a million dollars in, in cumulative uh, lawsuits, uh, uh, Sergeant Leo Besner, and uh, he was involved in a shooting that also cost the city, you know, cost the city half a million dollars. He shot somebody in the back who was unarmed at the time, um, much like uh, Officer Frashauer. But Officer Frashauer cost the city a million dollars in this case. Uh, so there are several, uh, and, the, and the officers involved in the James Chassis uh, killing cost the city over a million dollars. The officer who accidentally um, loaded his shot, beanbag shotgun with a live round cost the city o over two million dollars. So there's quite a few officers there. But that officer uh, not only is no longer on the force, but he committed suicide earlier this year. Um, but there was also, somebody mentioned Kyle Nice and the officer who killed James Chassie. Two of them were important police officers. One was a Multnomah County Sheriff's deputy who now works for the Bureau. Those two officers were suspended, not because they beat James Chassie to death, but because they didn't bring him to the hospital after they used a taser on him. And that was over, also overturned by the arbitrator. Um, so we, we have a pattern of arbitration overturning findings about violence against our community members. There also seems to be a pattern of the uh, police actually getting promoted, like Leo Bessner was just an officer and now he's a sergeant. So it seems like the Portland police promote the most brutal cops there is. And I, I have some personal experience with Leo Bessner myself. He attacked me and I actually have a complaint with the IPR in there about him. So he's still out there. He's a Let me, let me say, not in response to that, separate, separate response. Dr. Haynes uh, always said in our press conferences, it cannot be used out of town today, we want everybody to go home tonight. Uh, police officers, citizens, all of us, safely. And when you break this down, again, 